Recently, Taiwan's Ministry of Education announced that the national school attendance figures revealed that 40 percent more in non-indigenous were attending universities and colleges than indigenous. Experts say the current balanced score system is not working. They are calling on the CIP to take the lead in promoting the indigenous-based education system. In October, Taiwan's Ministry of Education announced that the college attendance rate was only 41 percent for indigenous in 2008 have that of the non-indigenous. It was shown that 84 percent of the later were attending colleges or universities. Experts say the report indicated that the bounty score system is not performing per expectations. The gap in higher education attendance between non-indigenous and indigenous is not something that a bonus system can improve. We hope that the Council of Indigenous People will be more forward-looking. We wanted to establish and guide our education system. Not only is indigenous students' attendance lower than the four non-indigenous, but also their dropout rate is almost 2 percent higher. Financial issues were cited as the main reason. Education expert Lin Chunfeng says this is mainly because most indigenous students must help out with family finances upon graduating from high school. While on phone interview, Lin said, Many indigenous families do not pursue big dreams. They ask only that they are wealthy. We can't compete in economy, neither in test. Their financial situation and test scores suffer as a result. Not all the news is bad. Even though indigenous student attendance is lower than that for the non-indigenous, the report found that the rate of non-indigenous attending higher education has increased 10 percent since 2005. Experts hope that the CIP will help establish an education system that caters to the indigenous. He also took the opportunity to remind the indigenous about the importance of investing in education. TITV Weekly.